Hey Geminis, and welcome to your October 2018 general tarot forecast. This is Sky here to give you guys hopefully another amazing reading for your month ahead and really empowering energy coming in for you all. I've really been happy and stoked to see the progression that Gemini has had over the last few months. I'm really interested in what you've been implementing and what you've been working on because the energy has felt so different and it's felt like a truly like an uphill progression, like um, in a good way. Like it really feels like a strong, stable, quite linear ascension that you're going through right now, um, which might even be a bit cumbersome or a bit um, not fun for some of you because Gemini over the last probably like five years has been a more volatile energy and a more um, even tending towards like manic depressive ideology and uh, symptoms, if I can say, um, as you now start to actually even out a lot and really find a new type of balance. I mean, you're not there yet. You're not like home free, but I mean, we're human. It's we're never quite home free when it comes to that type of thing, because you do still have um, some strong polarities coming in this month. But at the same time, I just feel this really strong resilience and this really strong um comfort that you start to experience through facing things in a new way and through really finding a difference because I think that that's what this month is about for everyone. Um, Libra time to me for the entire zodiac feels like feeling the difference and feeling what the systems and strategies that you've implemented for a while start to change. Um, feeling those changes and really realizing how things start to become more healthy for many of us or more stable or more secure and for some even maybe more frightening or um, as I was saying cumbersome. There is a bit of a cumbersome energy that I feel that you're still facing. For some Geminis you might even feel a little bit bored or a little bit um, taxed or drained in some way but it's not looming. It's not like a, a terrifying experience. It's just, it's almost like you know that it's a necessary bridge to cross here. Um, as you are transitioning, you are changing still, um, but it's more linear and it's more expected, which truly is a gift from the universe. And um, even though Jim and I kind of like unexpected surprises, you know, love spontaneity, love surprises in general, um, you have to remember that this time of consolidation, this time of calibration is a gift from the universe and not boring um, because I don't feel this to be like boring comfort or boring solitude. It's truly, um, uh, it, it is spontaneous and surprising in certain ways, um, but it's really maybe a test as well from the universe to see if you're healthy enough to start to experience more um, unexpected things or more fun, adventurous things without uh, taxing yourself too much or without... Um, generating some type of experience which takes a lot away from you on account of being surprised or on account of having the adventure. So ultimately what I feel before I get into the week to week with Gemini in October is preparing and having the tests to generate the next adventure and to generate the next uh, fun path and, and feeling the difference within that. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the week to week Geminis. Um, as in the first week of October, you have seven of wands rooted down by eight of pentacles reversed so you do have some chronological order there um so you are kind of wrapped up in an ending cycle you are um sort of almost done with something i feel like and really trying to imagine what this gives you like what does the completion of this cycle or the oncoming completion of this cycle actually give me there is a sense of jim and i not quite being satisfied with what they've gained or what they've built on account of a mountain that they've climbed. So I sense even like really successful Geminis, um, there could be a slowing or a plateauing of um, progress. And it sort of leads you to second guess or doubt what your motivations were in the first place or what this actually gives you in the long run. And it's gonna be important for you guys to count blessings and to see like how far you've actually come and not be hard on yourselves because um, like Jim and I being hard on themselves, like it happens a lot, especially if, you, if you've got like cancer in your chart, which is very possible for Gemini, very easy and very typical to have cancer um, as it is the next sign. Um, so if you're being too like self-effacing or really second guessing or um, negative self-dialogue about how far you've come or not getting the same results that you used to in a certain endeavor, it's going to be important to counteract that with the new options that it's given you and to pursue or, or start to plan a pursuit of something which is slightly related but changes the formula a bit um it might be time to change the formula for some of you um because you're not quite satisfied with what the current formula has given you so um altering altering what has been done right um or which now which 
that which now feels incorrect um, will give you a lot, but it's going to also be important to um, think about what opposes you and what stopped you from doing this in the first place or uh, what has stopped you from um, pursuing in the way that you're now considering because there is a sense of adversity or opposition on a certain path that you could generate here. So make sure that you're being smart and planning wisely when it comes to new frontiers, okay? Uh, week number two, the devil reversed, rooted down by knight of pentacles. So money is a bit of an issue um, for some of you. There's a definitely look at philosophy of money, definitely look at what money means to you or material things, things which are not emotional or spiritual. Um, has money become spiritual? Has money become ritualistic? Has money become um, something that it can't be? Um, is it ever enough? Do you have and what is what is enough to you? And this even out of money, like um, it's sort of like compensation and values. I'm feeling like values in life get redefined here. There's definitely a sense of being really tied and connected to something that is not a value system which you at a soul level approve of. Um, and there could be, again, a sense of uh, self, negative self-dialogue on account of seeing yourself in a light that you do not actually resonate with, um, or to see the changes, because we're, again, we're talking about differences, we're talking about changes this month. Um, some of those do not completely resonate, I feel, for Gemini, and it's gonna be important to implement them in a way that does. And also to find gratitude in having seen it, because I do sense a frustration. There's a frustration in having seen yourself in a certain light, or having um, committed to something which was never actually right. Um, it's important for Gemini to not doubt that, but at the same time be willing to change the formula when it's been realized. Because then it's like, why are you pursuing something that isn't right for you? Is it because of money? Is it because of esteem? Is it because of prestige? Is it because of proving something to yourself, you know, proving that you are strong enough? Because I do feel that new doors um, open very soon. You have in the third week King of Wands reversed, rooted down by the lovers. So um, new path, new crossroads, new options. And it's kind of interesting the way that the lovers and the devil connect with each other. They're very similar archetypes, actually. Um, and they represent the same type of mechanic. They represent the same type of um, structured outlay and energetic output. Um, but one is just generally considered much more positive and the other is considered much more negative, but that's not actually the case. Sometimes the lover's energy can actually be very destructive and the devil energy can be quite um, benevolent uh, sometimes. Um, so what you have to, what you're working with basically this month, Gemini, are choices and crossroads based on the difference that you're feeling, perhaps even at the soul level. So the middle section of October, where you see like the second and third week, there's a stasis there. There's sort of a stasis of crossroads and options and choices and changes. And all of that results in an emotional rebirth because you have Page of Cups as the central theme on top of that. So everything that you're doing right now is contributing to the ability to feel at a greater level and the ability to feel and intuit in a new way because your receptors or your like psychic receptacles, Gemini is very psychic and at least very good at communicating what might be psychic for them. Um, you have to see that in a new way and that has to become new. Otherwise it starts to feel stale or it starts to feel like the value system of that is not something that people respect or not something that people um, feel is an accurate communication, which um, not to say that you should care about people or you should care about the opinions of others, but um here's the thing like people are seldom wrong about gemini and this is a weird little crux about gemini as a sign um obviously gemini can be gossiped about or gemini can be told lies about like i'm not saying that whatever people say about you is true but gemini is more susceptible to reputation and more susceptible to the words of other people because that's what you represent. You represent Mercury, you represent communications. So what people say about you will automatically become much stronger than um, other zodiac signs. Virgo also has this. So you're more inclined to gossip. You're more inclined to being gossiped about. And um, except with Gemini, it's more potent. Um, and you find yourself having to kind of like really jump around that and really navigate this type of minefield and like working on your reputation, working on what people are saying about you. And then there's some of you that have kind of really detached from that. But um, that is a big theme in the month of October, sort of rewriting your narrative and rewriting your 
sensibilities because through this rebirth that I feel, which I'm talking about with your central theme as page of cups there, what happens is you start to establish a system of feeling and responding that almost makes what people say about you or the communications that result on your character something that I don't want to call it infallible, but it's something that people celebrate and venerate. And it's something that uh, really progresses your uh, goals and ambitions right now and to like turn a blind eye to it is to fail in a certain type of way but at the same time is success really what we need right now you know like could we maybe just have a nice meal or could we maybe have like um, a nice home or a sense of stability uh, what is the price of success and reputation and prestige for Gemini right now it's food for thought week number four four of wands rooted down by it nine of wands and that's sort of where I was getting some of that idea from as well. It's like um, there's like celebration versus um, exhaustion. Uh, there's a sense of exhausted celebration coming forward for Gemini in this month, in this week specifically as we're moving into Scorpio time. They're important for you to rejuvenate, important for you. And this to me like also reminds me of like social media, actually. It's sort of like you're four of wands on the outside, but nine of wands on the inside. You post photos that look like four of wands, but behind the camera, it's like nine of wands. Um, good to leave that behind now and maybe switch it up or um, maybe become four of wands in both situations. Uh, basically, you're running on empty. I sense you like... Uh, jogging or running without having eaten before i sense you like driving your car when it's on e there's a sense of like really trying to energize something that doesn't have much substance so that also says to me failing businesses um family situations which are tried to be resolved on account of looking like the resolver not because of resolving problems um things like that like running without any gas in the system so your intentions are in the right place, Gemini. You want to fix things. You want to energize things. You want to communicate things. But what has to be fixed within? What has to be communicated within? And what needs to fuel that system? It's not even, it's not even about the communication. It's about the fueling of the system which does that communication. Okay? So working with your body, working with your metabolism, working with what's going in, working with what's being absorbed, you know, maybe a water filter for the shower. I don't know what you're absorbing from your water. Page of Cups and the Devil together, it's like maybe the water isn't as pure as it needs to be. Um, things need to be pure. Things need to be real. You know, no buying, like, fake skincare off of some, like, weird website. Um, real, vetted sources of energy. Um, you know, no fad diets. No... Um, fake sweeteners, things like that. Things which give something yet um, take away from elsewhere. Um, what am I trying to say? Watch out for things which give something that's too good to be true. You know, um, this is very sweet and it will make you lose weight at the same time. Um, those things exist, but um, just just beware. Be beware of those types of things. Even in personality types, you know, someone who's good to, too good to be true. Someone who looks the part um, and has their cake and eats it too. Um, so really seeing reality and seeing things with a fresh set of eyes. I love that Page of Cups is your central theme. Um, you're gonna feel things in a new way. Things might make you emotional that didn't used to before. You might have new, um, even political or like uh, ideologies, philosophies about life and welcome those in even if that you don't feel like they're right for you, but it's going to be important to see what your reaction is to them because that generates so much of the future. Anyway, Gemini, it's been a joy to read for you. Um, I really hope that this reading gave you something important. Um, I'm, hoping that, I'm hoping that it didn't come off negatively because you are anything but that this month. You are powerful, but you are susceptible at the same time. Powerful yet susceptible. So we have to look at what can drag us down if we're not careful. So anyway, Gemini, um, if you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can check the description box below or click the center of your screen right now. Your subscribes, likes, and comments make my day and really help the uh, sustainability of my channel. I am very grateful for that. Um, but yes, do check the description box below. There will be um, useful links. I'm on social media. I am around. Anyway, I will be seeing you guys in, can you believe it, November? Um, and we'll be talking soon. Much love. Bye.